paintings start by me going out, gathering the fruits and the things and composing the still lifes and taking a lot of photos, going through them. And then I usually start with a rich red oxide background color and then draw out the design and go in and do the negative spaces first. So I will go in, fill in a lot of the black so that it, there's just the silhouette of the subject matter, the fruits and everything. And then we'll begin usually working from darkest to lightest is <laughs> the technical process of how I would create that. So, and just, um, in this series, they obviously are all dark ones. Um, so the, the background colors and try and get the, are blended in with the subject matter colors to try and make them look like they're emerging from the shadows and create a sense of depth and a bit of mystery, a bit of drama. Well, this one is called Various Stages of Undress. It's about peeling apples. <laughs> I admire the old masters paintings, especially the Dutch old masters of 17th century. And uh, I just like that they take sort of everyday objects and because of the way they use the darks and the rich colors and the dramatic lighting and creative and arrangements that um, they create a sense of drama, mystery, and intrigue with just normal everyday things like fruits and flowers. So for me, um, enjoying that, I also wanted to connect that with my own environment. And so being in the Okanagan, we're surrounded by fruit and this sort of thing, this all comes from my backyard, either literally or from the market. So my general backyard, my community backyard. And so that's kind of how I wanted to bring my art history background together with my current situation and environment and connect the two and kind of make them relate. I paint in oil paints. I learned oil painting when I did a graphic design and illustration program at Capilano College, now university. Uh, that was back in the 90s and um, I've been working on similar themes for, for quite a while. Uh, each piece takes uh, a range of times depending. Sometimes they come very quickly. I do like to work wet into wet, so it's nice to have a big chunk of uninterrupted time if possible to be able to get something from start to pretty much finish if possible.